Joseph Kalimbwe. Now today, the Pan-African Parliament had an election and uh, Fortune Chalumbila has been uh, put back into office. I want to make this video to say thank you to every single one of you who've supported our campaign. We ran a very, very spirited campaign. From the very start, we have sent a strong message to say, not anymore are we going to sit back and watch mismanagement of African resources. Not anymore are we going to sit back and watch an African institution being used for the benefit of a few. This is the message that we sent. Our candidates, like we've always uh, said from the beginning, Mao Sampa is, is in very high spirits. And we just want to extend our thanks to every single one of you that has supported us. To Malawi for seconding us, to Botswana for nominating us, to all the members that stood with us, that supported our struggle, and that believed that there was a need for the Pan-African Parliament to have a new leader, a leader that understands the struggles of not just the Parliament, but the struggles of our people. Whether those struggles are in Sudan or in the Darfur region, whether those struggles are in Democratic Republic of Congo or in Mali or in Mozambique, where terrorist organizations have continued to terrorize our people. That is what we believed in. And the outcome of this election has shown how much brave we are. We sent out a very strong message that we're never going to sit back and watch wrong things. Today, what has lost is democracy. Today, what has lost is accountability and transparency. Those things have lost. What has instead won is the mismanagement of funds. What has won is the employment of relatives into positions at African institutions. So, but this is the nature of our African politics. I was born in 1993 and over the past three decades I've seen good and bad. Back home in my country in Zambia, I've seen Zambian presidents come and go. The lessons that we have learned from this will be used for the betterment of our politics going forward. We are going to learn from this campaign. And even as we are going to return back home to domestic politics, we have sent a very strong message to the entire African continent that we are a people that will never take a back seat and watch wrong things happen. That is why we submitted this candidate to ensure that we put forward a better and credible results to the African continent. And so we are very thankful to each and every single one of you in SADIC that has supported us, that has believed in us, that thought that we can be able to fight for a better institution. Today, we have seen that other members have sought otherwise. We have given a chance to somebody that we do not believe was better placed to continue leading that African institution. But ultimately, ours is to thank those that have supported us, that have stood with us, that have believed in us. Throughout the many years that I've lived on earth, I've seen the nature and the divisive ways of our politics. We were very transparent from, our, from the very beginning that ours was a campaign that was positive, not to demonize others, but to articulate our viewpoints, to articulate our vision and to articulate our plans. That's what we did from the start to the end. Now we are going to return back, very rejuvenated, knowing that we have fought a very good fight and we've never backed down. That is what we have displayed. And let me be very clear to those that thought this election was between two nations, no, this was a contestation of ideas. We must never be an African people that believe when you, got, when you get a competitor, then that competitor is an enemy that must be defeated. We are not enemies. We are competing in a politics of ideas. That is why we put forth our candidates to ensure that we compete and we compete very strongly. So understand this. This was not a competition between nations. This was a politics of ideas. We are presenting our ideas to the African continent. Now the legislatures and everyone else involved, the delegates have decided at the Pan-African Parliament. They have made a decision and we are going to, to, to return back home, rejuvenated, engage in our, in our domestic politics and uh, do that which is best for the African continent, which is to continue speaking out for that which is right. We we'll continue to do that and we just want to say thank you to every single one of you that supported us, whether you were here in Johannesburg or you were on social media, whether you stood with us in prayer or in any way otherwise. Thank you very much for supporting our campaign, for being with us, for believing that we can put up a very strong fight to fight against that which we believed was wrong. So 
We are returning home. And when we return home, we are going to return home very thankful for the fight that we took. Very thankful for those who believed that we can fight for a better African continent. That is what we did. That people in the Democratic Republic of Congo can be able to benefit from their resources. That people in the Cabo Delgado province in Mozambique should never fear terrorists terrorizing their homes. That people in Mali must never fear uh, organizations that are violent to enter into a village and kill everybody else. And that the African parliament can be able to speak honestly and frankly about those issues. That is what we presented, but another decision has been made. We are very thankful to every one of you that has supported us, and we have nothing but gratitude for all the support, for all the love that you've shown us. We are continuing to fight for the better Africa. We are continuing to ensure that as it is stipulated in these four proud words of our nation back home, one Zambia, one nation, we are going to translate those four words into the entire African continent. One Africa, one continent. Thank you very much.